Hello gang. I want to go over the uh, true position calculator portion of the Web Machinist software. Uh, this is the main screen of Web Machinist that you see here. As you can see, there's quite a few different uh, uh, areas you can go into, and each one breaks down to quite a bit more than they're uh, than visually here. For true position, you want to go to the inspection calculators either by this button or you can go under the calculators and go down to inspection calculators here. On this screen here you can see the different inspection calculators that are available in Web Machinist, uh, co-location, sign bar setup, dovetail measuring, gauge blocks, three wire measuring, and of course what we're looking for right now, the true position calculator. So we'll go ahead and click that. In this calculator, all you need to do is click on uh, this first box, or any box, literally. Um, first thing they're going to ask you for is your measured X dimension. And let's just say you're measuring 2.002. .002. You can use the tab key, or you can uh, also click right in the next box. I'll just go ahead and use the tab key. This is the drawing X dimension. This is what's actually on your blueprint, drawing, mechanical drawing, what have you. Let's say they're calling for 2.000. I'm going to hit the tab key again. This is your drawing Y dimension. Once again, this is what's on your drawing as far as the position, in this case, of a hole. Uh, let's say it's supposed to be 1.5 inch and a half. Next is what you actually measure it to be. Let's say when you're measuring it, uh, it's coming out 1.503. So 1.503. Um, next thing is, in this case, drawing hole diameter. Let's say it's a uh, half inch hole. That's coming right off your drawing. Then your minimum maximum is what your drawing is telling you. Like if it's plus or minus two, let's it'd be like 0.498 to 0.502. Now over here is your measured hole diameter. This is what you actually are measuring it at. Let's say you're measuring it and you're coming up with 0.501. Then here is your two possibilities. You can just do true position only, or you can do true position with maximum material condition. So you just come down here and you're drawing, as you know, when you see these, will tell you how much your tolerance can be for true position. So let's say they're saying you can be 0 0.007. True position, true position only. All you do is hit OK. And all these specifications here are going to be basically what you've already typed in right here, except for down here. This has got your actual true position right there. You can see over here, they're all filled in with the measurements you put in there and what have you. In this case, your drawing true position says 0 0.007, but based on what you input, you're actually at 0 0.0072. So you're just slightly out of tolerance. Slightly. So you may want to tighten that up a little bit. Okay, if you want to do maximum material condition, you can either start over, reset, start over, or you can just click back into one of the boxes and everything you already put in there will be in there. Just change it to true position with maximum material condition. Let's say again it's 0 .007 maximum material condition. Okay, now, same thing. It's going to show you everything that you've input and all your measurements, drawing dimensions, measurements, hole diameter, or feature diameter or feature size, 
low, high, and then your feature, in this case, hole measured. At maximum material condition, we all know what that means. It's right there. Now you're within. So that's a good part right there at maximum material condition. Maximum material condition is using all your tolerances. And then to clear all this, just hit reset. And then go back to the main menu. Well, there you have it. That's just a little overview of the true position calculator, which is part of the Web Machinist program. And I thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you.